what we're working on today is I'm doing some print labels up. And first of all, I want to show you the old way of the way I used to make my print labels. And I used to use this machine, which works great. If you don't have a Cricut maker or if you're just starting out, um, this is a great little machine. I bought it at Walmart. It I paid, I don't know, $20 for it, I think. And, you know, I have my lines all set up there so I know where to score it and where to cut it. And I'm just going to do one quickly here just to show you and I can finish this procedure. I mean, I, there was another way I did it before I even knew these machines existed. And I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> I mean, it worked. It was fine. But, of course, it was just starting out. And you know, these lines aren't set up. I took them off because of the Cricut Maker. But I'm trying to eyeball that, I guess. Okay. So then I take it, I fold it, which I usually fold it that way first, and then fold it this way. It's a little easier doing it. I put my little V's in here. I could just do that instead of doing it this way too, but that's just me, of course. Okay, and done. I mean, I can go through with it then. You know, I pretty well have this down pat, so I can go through those pretty quick and get quite a few done up. But now, with the Cricut Maker, put that paper away. Get this out of the way here. With the Cricut Maker, I just take this. Now, I have this all fixed up so I know right where to put my labels on here. And that's something I'll probably do another video on later. And that would be more for people that have a Cricut Maker and want to know how to set their labels up. And I had a hard time finding that myself. It took a lot of figuring out and, you know, then a few mistakes before I got this right. So, let me pull this ahead here so you can see. Now, I have everything all set up on my computer. I have my scoring wheel in because the first thing it does, it does the scoring. Let's put that in. And that button's flashing. I click that. And it's going to go through and it's going to do all my score lines first, like, like I did. It's detecting the tool. It's making sure I have the proper tool in there. Because I do have to change it each time. I kind of wish I didn't have to do that. But, hey, you can't have everything you want. So it's going through, doing all the score lines. Now, normally, I wouldn't just be sitting here watching this machine as it's, uh, as it's going through doing that. I would be doing other things. Like, I would be, I would be labeling my soap right now. While it's doing its thing, I'd be doing this and gluing the labels on. Or I'd be over there making more labels to put on next. So now it's asking me for the cutter tool. So I take the scoring tool out, put the cutter tool in, close it up, hit that button again. So now it's going to go through and do the scoring for, or the cutting for me. Finish this off so that's doing that. Yeah, I love this. It saves me so much time, and anything I can do to save me time because you know I'm basically a one man show here, and there's I have a lot on the go. I do quite a few different products. You know, I have my, my cottons I do. I have my woodworking I do. I make all my own soap dishes. Um, you know, I do up some nice gift sets and so on. So, 
I'm obviously I'm doing YouTube now and I have tried to get all my social media up and running smoothly, which is, you know, it's difficult because you're supposed to be putting a lot on there, which I find really hard to do because I already have so much to do. But anything like this that can save us a little bit of time, it's just, I love it. So take it out from the machine, just push that back a bit, and look at this. Now I need to sharpen my blade, and there's a, I guess there's a really easy way to do that. I, I haven't done it yet, but it's obvious it's something I need to do. Throw that in my paper bin for recycling, and look at that just as easy as that isn't that nice so I'm basically going to do the same thing as I did on the other ones this part takes a little bit longer because I can't fold that all in one but big deal okay and I'm just going to do another stroke up here now I know right where to put the glue because I've done it so many times These are your labels. I really like my labels. I get a, I get a lot of compliments on my labels, and I think if you're selling soap, your labels they make they definitely make a difference, especially for people giving them as a gift. Now I have this tab that I leave up in the air, and the reason I do that is if you want to give this as a gift, you can just take that and snip it off, or if it's folded really good, you can just kind of rip it off before you give it as a gift. So there, just like that, that easy. And time saving, like I said, I would normally be doing more labels or doing my soap up. Well, these are all printing off, and that's what I'll be doing here. As soon as I shut the video off, I'll be going ahead and uh, and continuing to do uh, some more. And as I'm talking here, I might just do that and kind of fade out. And uh, yeah. So if you can get a Cricut maker, or I suggest getting it. I mean, you don't want to do it unless you have a you know fairly good volume business, or you plan on using your Cricut maker to for other income or just for fun, you know, to do things at home with. Okay, thank you for watching, and have a naturally nice day. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time. Actually, before I go here, I just want to let you know that I am going to be doing a video on these. Because I make these myself by hand. I don't make the dowels, of course. I buy them separately. But uh, I have a special jig that a friend of mine made to make these perfectly on here. Which certainly saves me a lot of times and makes it a lot more precise for me. So I'm just going to do a quick video on this. And I think you might enjoy it. It's fairly easy. Okay? Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and have a naturally nice day.